Hey YouTube, here's a quick update on Project Trail Finder 2. I got an extra speed gear reduction unit for this rig to slow it down a bit for better crawling. Um, it's gonna do some better slow speed crawling. So first, I have to remove the motor from the transmission and then I'm going to have to attach the included pinion gear to the motor shaft and then install it into the gear reduction unit. Here's the reduction unit. Now the motor out. I have to install the mounting plate from the reduction unit onto the motor with the pinion in place because the set screw for the pinion is going to sit inside that mounting plate. And then the gear reduction unit goes over that and then tighten the screws down. I did run into a little bit of a problem after I got it all installed and when I tightened it completely down, it seemed like something was dragging too much. I was getting too much resistance, so I had to loosen up the screws and look into it further. So after the gear reduction unit's all in place and attached to the motor, then it gets mounted into the transmission into the motor motor mount. It does fit in barely with this Hilux body over the chassis and I did try it out also with my new Chevy Blazer body and I'll post up the links down below for this extra speed gear reduction unit. I also have a small suspension mods on this. I right here I am adjusting the motor the tightness of the gear reduction unit attaching to the motor um, by loosening up the screws I was still able to get access enough through the holes of the mounting plate uh, so other items I got I got the longer shock hoops for the Yolanda 2 um, which will go to replace the sh stock shock hoops on this they are also by RC four wheel drive and here it's comparing the difference between the longer shock hoops. It does have an adjustment on there. And here I'm using the axial, stock axial shocks for now for the front. I did take off the smaller springs to attach on there. And I do get some better flex with this. So that's it for this quick update. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'd appreciate a subscribe, like, share, comment. If you have any questions or if you have any other tips you'd like for the Trail Finder 2, I'd appreciate it.